Real Animals Fishing Show is presented by Mosaic, helping the world grow the food it needs. And by Yellowfin Yachts. Hey gang, today I'm fishing my home waters of Tampa Bay. I got my wife Beth with me. Tampa Bay legend Captain Richard Seward is taking us fishing. Whatever you do, don't touch that dial. It's going to be off the hook. Fish on. Real, real, just real, nice and easy. Oh, it's a shark. Oh, <laughs> nice. A little black tip. I wanted girl. to give you a variety. You definitely want to be careful. The D hooker comes in real handy here because that little guy will whack you. So, I know, I know, there you go. Fish on. <laughs> I was going to fish, but maybe not. No, it's not necessary. That one looks a little slimy. Yeah, this, well, I brought you to a good fishing spot, didn't I? <laughs> we got trout, we got sharks, and the cat is fisherman. Fish on. Oh, what is oh, okay. it? Okay. She's catching all the species. Yeah, you know, it's going to be one of those days, I think, where you just catch a little bit of everything. Well, I will. <laughs> the old blowfish, huh? Got a chomper in there that'll light you up. Oh, pick us up and let us drift back a little bit, back toward that edge. I just got a big blow up right here. Yo, know, you just did? Yeah, big, twice blew up on me. Oh, real, 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 real. That a girl. The same distance doesn't look good for us, Richard. It could be a long day. It could be a long day. There's the first trout to the boat. That a girl. I told you. Listen to her. It's all right. That big explosion came from that little trout right there. You don't mind if I stay back here. I want to keep my line out here. I'm too behind already. I know, me too. <laughs> You're getting killed here. Atta girl. Hey, come on. All right. You know what the bad part's going to be, Richard, right? When nobody calls us for a charter and they just call us to get to bath. <laughs> We'd like to book it. Or if, we, or if we do get a charter, you've got to bring your wife with you. <laughs> I've actually had that request before. <laughs> She's a lot easier on the eyes than we are. We've been out here for just about an hour or so, maybe an hour and a half, sitting on this hump out here in kind of the middle of Tampa Bay. We've got eight, nine, 10, 12 feet of water all the way around. We're up on top here. We've got about two and a half, three feet of water where we're fishing. Really a variety of fish. My wife is putting it on Richard and I pretty good here, but we've caught some nice trout, caught some sharks, caught a blowfish, a couple of catfish. So there's kind of a variety on this hump up here, feeding on some of the bait that's up here. So. You know, we're just going to keep chopping wood as this tide turns, starts to come in. Because we're on the new moon, while we're just on the backside of the new moon, things are going to pick up. Do you find it's better to be over the hard, hard grass or more of that model bottom where you can see a little bit? I like bit the of model the bottom because that's where the fish, they'll get on the side of that and ambush anything that comes across it. Sets them up with ambush points a little better than the, just the grass. Yeah. But now I've, you can catch it, the big ones you just can't. They more or less cruise wherever they want to. Right. What do you got there, legend? Probably a catfish. <laughs> oh, just a trout. Oh, it's a trout. Mr. Trout, go figure. Here. It's a nice fish, too. Here you go. Yeah, that might have been a keeper. Yeah, it looks like it might have been. Uh-oh. Fish on. That's got another one. I think we may have found them. Must be the. Uh... What you got? 
got. Oh, that's a nice that's fish. That's a big trout. Yep, that one's a dandy bass. Nice fish. That's what we came here for this morning. Look at that one, Richard. Nice job, buddy. That's a much nicer fish. I just wanted to wait till y'all got on the board and then I <laughs> put on the clinic. <laughs> that's a better trout. Look at that. Well, I had the record for about 30 seconds. <laughs> You got mine. Oh, yep, I do. Another tactic. It's the only way I can slow you up some is if I, I hook your line. Cheat. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, babe. This is fishing, this is serious stuff. I have four. You know that tonight, we'll be sitting at home, eating dinner, and it'll come up at least once, probably twice, if she crushes me. I will not hear the end of it. The Real Animals Fishing Show Tip of the Week is brought to you by Mosaic. Hey gang, today's Tip of the Week is really pretty simple, but it's something we don't think about all the time. Summertime here in Florida gets really, really hot, whether it's alcohol or sodas, anything like that has a tendency to dehydrate us, especially out in the sun. You need to make sure you take in a lot of water out here. You can really, really dehydrate a lot quicker than what you're thinking, especially if you're on a great day, you're catching a lot of fish, the next thing you know, you end up dizzy, you end up real, real sweaty, you end up in a bad situation on the water, a long way from help. So something I want you to remember to do is make sure you drink plenty of water while you're on the water and stay hydrated. It's gonna help you get through your days and enjoy your time on the water a whole lot better. Real Animals Tip of the Week, brought to you by Mosaic. Do it again, do it again, do it again. Oh, I just lost a good one. That's a trout. Yeah. God, I got rolled up right there. That looks like a good trout too, Richard, huh? Nice. <laughs> it's a caper. All I'm doing, as you can tell, I'm just taking our pilchard here, our greenback, and I'm going right underneath his peck fin. I call it putting it in the armpit. Just set that hook right in the armpit. There's no vitals there. And when it sits in the water, it'll sit upright. Kind of helps to hide that hook some. They swim very natural. I only do that when I'm under a cork. If I'm in a lot of current or something and I always nose hook them, no matter what baits you're using, whether it's artificial or live, you're always worried about presentation. Presentation's everything. You want that bait to present as naturally as possible. Under a cork, that bait will just sit upright, kind of hide that hook. It's a perfect presentation. Uh oh, this has got catfish written all over it. If he don't come up, it's a catfish or a shark. Staying on the bottom, swimming in circles, oh yeah, catfish. Not our species of choice. We gotta move. Yeah, we gotta get, let's go on up the upper part of the bay. I like the way you think. started our morning not far from the boat ramp, made a little short run, wanted to fish the last of the outgoing tide on a, on a trout spot that Richard had been catching some nice fish on. We caught some trout there this morning, caught a couple of catfish, and Beth caught a real nice trout, so that went okay. And now that the tide's starting to switch here, we ran way up to the north end of Tampa Bay. I 
I don't even know where, I've never fished here before, so leave it to the legend Richard Seward to put us way back in the back country. He's got a whole bunch of snook laying back here in some creeks, and we're going to see if we can't get something going here. Yeah, Come on out of that deep water there, Richard. Oh, well, best got one too. You got a double. Well, mine's a red dog. I went redfish. Look at the size of this flounder, would you? Oh, are you kidding me? Look at the size of that flounder. Holy cow. Here, I'm gonna help, I'll help Beth land that flounder. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that pig. Nice job, babe. Wow, look at that. Boy, that is an upper Tampa Bay. Hey, 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 there's no reason for all that. Stop. Oh, well, there, it got released. Even better. Hey, nice fish. Wow, that was a beast. Can we still have a redfish on this one? Snook popping everywhere. <laughs> we came to Richard's snook spot, and the first two fish we catch are a big flounder and a red dog. Nice fish. Tell you what, it came out of the deeper water in there. You know, some of these creeks, they offer such great cover because of the mangroves on both sides. There's oyster bars lying on the outside. Great food for these guys. So, pretty blue tail, been eating some crustaceans, some of the little crabs. Swimming off. Hey, the double, huh? The double. Hi, huh, girl. Thank you, sir. Real Animals Tackle Box presented by CCA Florida and the CCA Star Tournament. In today's Real Animals Tackle Box, Captain Richard and Beth and I are using 7 foot 6 inch medium action AR-15 and AR-20 spinning rods by Bull Bay Rods. We're using Quantum PTS-40 Cabo and Quantum Smoke Spinning Reels with 15 pound braided line and 25 pound fluorocarbon loop. We were using live pilchards on 2 hot Nautilus Light circle hooks for bait. Real Animals Tackle Box is brought to you by Quantum, the real choice for the real animals. Strike King, number one in fishing lures. Mira Lure, the record setters. Ingo Coolers, the first, the best, your last. Bull Bay Rods, combined with original Fuji guides for a difference you can feel. Real Animals Tackle Box presented by CCA Florida and the CCA Star Tournament. There's another one. <laughs> Atta boy. A little redfish. I think so. I think there's a bunch of them little red dogs in here, which I'm okay with. Redfish make Captain Mike happy. Yeah, and they're coming out of this, it deepens up a little bit as it comes around this bend right here. And as that bait sweeps through that bend, them redfish are sitting in there picking off crustaceans until they see my greenback. And then they're really happy. Look at that, huh? Well, this would be great, great learning grounds for artificials too. If you took a shrimp imitator and bounced it on the bottom out here, rage tail shrimp by Strike King, or maybe a mirror lure little john if you bounce it across the bottom here on this in this creek you have a field day with these little guys it'd be a great place to teach a young angler how to use artificials you know a lot of those little redfish and snook are really opportunistic and they don't pass up a meal very often so it's a great uh, be a great fish to do that even throw a miradine up here Something like that. Swimming championship. What you got? Oh, oh it's a good fish. That a girl. Down, down. Turn its head. Turn its head. That a girl. That a girl. Right, you got him out. You can pull back up now. It's another redfish. What's going on here? Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I'll take some redfish action. Nothing wrong with it. Oh, it's a big snook. Nice snook. That a girl. I was going to say, I've never seen a redfish with a line. But... <laughs> well, no, what, do, 
You know, it's a he, his spot stretched out. <laughs> Where's Bee Grant? There you go. I grow bee. There's the first snook of the day. Go figure you would catch it. Shocker. Hook, circle hook right in the corner of the mouth. There's some real big fish in here, but a ton of these little guys too, so. Beautiful fish, beautiful fish. Early, early summer snook fishing back in the trees. Captain Richard Seward, not a bad. Nice job. Hi, girl. Nothing about that is bad. Nothing is bad. He's on there, he's on there. Stay with him. That's a good fish, Richard. You might want to come to the front, Richard. Leave it to the legend. That's the one we've been looking for all day. That's the one we wanted all day right there. Yeah, but I wanted it on somebody else's pole. Oh, uh, that's all right. <laughs> Better come up front. That's the one we wanted right there. That is the one we wanted right there. Woo! Pulling the boat around against the tide. That's a nice fish, Richard. You got hooked in the corner of the mouth. Yeah, right in the corner of the, yeah. Oh yeah, look at that beautiful fish right there. That is the one we wanted, my brother, right there. <laughs> Stay here. Woo, there you go, Richard Stewart, huh? Look at that. Huh? I'm telling you. Fishing with the legend right there, huh? What a great day. I spend the day fishing with my wife, hanging out with Richard Stewart. Life is good, Captain. Way to go, my friend. That is a beautiful, beautiful snow. There you go. go. Oh, there's a good one. That a girl. Look at her. That's a nice one. Oh, that's, that's a nice one. That's a good snook. fish. That girl. That's a nice fish. There you go. And there was one splashed right here at the boat. Yep. Isn't that great? It's true backcountry right here on Tampa Bay. I mean, we are in the sticks. We are way back in the backcountry today, doing some early summer snook, snook fishing. I don't even, I'm just gonna sit here and just take fish off for you. <laughs> Is that all right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought that'd be okay. Closed captioning brought to you by Gator Ford. The Real Animals Hook It and Cook It brought to you by Rumfish Grill at the Guy Harvey Outpost. I'm at the Rumfish Grill in St. Pete Beach in St. Pete Beach, Florida. I'm with Chef Aaron. Chef, what are we cooking today? Today we're going to do some seared sea scallops, a little butternut squash puree, and some roasted Brussels sprouts. Ooh. Today we're gonna to sear some sea scallops. These are a dry pack scallop, meaning they are not treated with any kind of tripolyphosphates, any kind of preservatives. They're the raw product. So we have a hot pan, some blended oil. This is a soy and olive oil blend. We want the oil almost to smoke, just like that. We're gonna give this a minute and a half each, each side. side. Okay. Yep. See how uh, we have a little bit of color on the bottom? It's, it's almost white to translucent. Nice sear on the scallops. It smells fantastic. While these are finishing up, we can go ahead to our plate. This is a roasted butternut squash that's been seasoned with light brown sugar, some cinnamon, clove, allspice, okay. salt and pepper. We've roasted them. It's, uh, Brussels sprouts been roasted, tossed with uh, caramelized shallots. Mm. I love Brussels sprouts. Scallops are just about there. So let's go to the plate. Mm. We're gonna finish this with some um, some crispy pancetta bacon. Mm. And a little bit of uh, parsley. That's how we do it here at Rumfish. Absolutely fantastic, Chef. Looks amazing. For this great recipe and more, go to our website. Real animals hook it and cook it. Brought to you by Rumfish Grill at the Guy Harvey Outpost. Mm. 
Oh, that's a good fish too. You want some help? That one's got a big old yap on it. There you go, that a boy. It's a good fish. That's a good fish right there. That's a big fish of the day right there. Here, Beth, hold this. Let's get this one in the boat. I got you, Rich. I'll get it for you, buddy. Hey, that hook before. Yeah, you think? That's all right. That's, that's a good fish right there. Look at that big old bucket mouth. There you go. Huh? The legend. The <laughs> man, huh? My man, the legend. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know you won't give yourself that kind of credit, but this guy's been doing great things for the fishing community all along the west coast of Florida, especially here in his hometown of Tampa. He's really been a, he's been a big advocate with CCA, doing all the things that fishermen need to do and doing them all the right way. Captain Richard Seward, thank you, my friend. Absolutely a great day for Beth and I, it really was. You couldn't have enjoyed it any more than I did. It was really, really, oh, I disagree. <laughs> Really a fantastic day. If you're coming anywhere near the Tampa Bay area and you want to come do this, Captain Richard Seward's a great choice. You can give me a call, 1-866-GAMEFISH. I'll get you hooked up with the legend himself. For more great fishing info, remember you can log on to the website, realanimalsfishingteam.com. Remember you can follow me on Facebook at Facebook slash Real Animals. And until next week, whatever you do, don't let your kid be the one that got away. Real Animals Fishing Show has been brought to you by Mosaic helping the world grow the food it needs.